Hey, it's Hawk with Top Don. Today we are going to do a video showing you misfire data. We're going to use three different Top Don tools and we're going to walk you through how to find the misfire data both in the OBD mode of the tool as well as in the manufacturer specific software. Now, what specific data you will get access to is going to vary a little bit by vehicle. However, we're going to give you a basic process to find this information that you can translate to most vehicles. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start with, we've got the Phoenix Nano on a 2015 Volkswagen Jetta, and we are going to go into the scan menu, which is where we will access EOBD. EOBD is the standardized data format that is generally going to appear almost, if not identical, on all vehicles. Now, some data PIDs will not be supported depending on the vehicle, age, and uh, manufacturer, but in most cases, you're going to have a lot of the same data. Typically, misfires should be available on most, if not all, vehicles. Now, first thing it does in EOBD is give you the readiness status to let you know how many data PIDs you're going to expect to see and whether or not the readiness monitors have been completed for emissions purposes. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter. Now we can go into the specific sections where various data lives. If we have any fault codes, uh, we can look in the freeze frame data and sometimes that will have useful information. Uh, we are going to look in first mode six. Mode six is typically going to provide some information such as misfire data. If we tap on misfire data, we can see how many misfires have been logged. So current drive cycle right now, since we started the car, and long-term logged misfires. So pretty straightforward and helpful information there. And you can see it specifically calls out 10 driving cycles. We can also see whether or not the status is okay. So again, mode six is what we're looking at specifically for that. Now we may also be able to read some live data. Now you have a search box here up on the nano where we can type in and see if there's anything for misfire. There is not. Now we want to scroll through the data PIDs just to make sure that there are no other relevant data PIDs. So we'll scroll through and just take a look. So you can see in regular OBD mode data stream, we don't see that. However, you're going to see when we go into manufacturer specific software that it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and back out now. And we're going to go back and we're going to hit auto scan. And when you do auto scan, this takes you into the vehicle specific software. So this will be the Volkswagen software here, not OBD. Again, something important to keep in mind as a difference here between the two softwares that we're looking at. So we're going to go ahead and hit diagnostic. And now we're going to go into system selection and we're going to select the ECM or engine control module. Okay. And now we're going to look at read data stream and we're going to do read by list. And now we can try our search box. Whoops, fat finger. We will type in miss for misfire and we get a bunch of different data PIDs here. So we have misfire counters for each individual uh, cylinder. We also have a global misfire counter and we have a misfire recognition which tells us if the ECM is currently asking or checking to see if there are misfires. So it's checking right now while the engine is running. There are no misfires being counted currently. And we see there are no misfires flagged on any specific cylinder. If we wanted to, we could do a report, freeze frame exactly what we see here. We could also graph any of these if we wanted to, but Basic and straightforward, very easy to access the information. Now, Okay, so now we're going to take you through the Top Guru app, which is the same as the Top Scan app. Basically, Top Guru for Apple and Top Scan for Android. 
So we're going to go on this 2022 Tacoma Toyota. We're going to go to Diagnostics. And the first one we're going to show you is EOBD. So we're going to do EOBD. We're going to hit Auto Scan. We do have the vehicle running currently, just for your information. Okay, so there's our monitor status. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to go to Onboard Monitor. And again, this is the OBD mode for live data, uh, specifically related to misfires. Now, the one thing you will notice on the screen is that because of the way that the TopScan app is laid out, the text is a little bit stretched out here, uh, just because of screen formatting on phones is not always conducive to displaying this. So we're going to keep scrolling through the data, and eventually we will get down here to the misfire data. And it will be displayed very similar to what you saw on the Phoenix Nano. So misfire monitoring, general data. So here's our minimum and our maximum and the value that has been logged. And our counts are OK. And then here is the total counts uh, for the last or current driving cycle. We scroll down. Then we have our cylinder-specific misfire data here. So cylinder 1, 0 is the minimum. This is the maximum that it can log. Here's how many it's had over time. And we've had 1 during this current driving cycle. And then and so on and so forth. Cylinder 2, cylinder 3. So basically you can scroll through and see each of the counts for each of the cylinders. So that's how you find the misfire data in OBD on the Top Scan or Top Guru app. Now we're going to take you into how to find it in the OE-specific software. So we're going to go all the way back out to the main screen, and we're going to type in the brand, or we can do auto VIN if we want. I'm going to be lazy, and I'm just going to type it in. There's Toyota. We're going to hit OK. We're going to hit Automatic. Read the VIN. There's our VIN. Confirm. USA without smart key, so it's a blade key, and it does have radar crews. And then we're going to hit OK. And we're going to hit Auto Scan, and then we're going to hit Engine for the Engine Control Module. Next. And we're going to look at Data Stream. And because there's so many data pids on some of these modern vehicles, it can take a little bit of time for it to build it out. Also, because there are so many data pids on a lot of modern vehicles, you're going to want to use your little search box. Now, you may need to look through all of them to see if there are misfire data pids that are not labeled as such. Uh, some manufacturers will label them differently. And again, this is the data that Toyota has uh, given for this specific vehicle. Whoops, we got an autocorrect issue there. All right, there we go. So now we can see all the different stuff that contains the word MIS. I just started with that for misfire, so we can see for Toyota here on this particular vehicle, they tell us the misfire test result. Uh, if there was a misfire logged, it would tell us the RPM. And we can also keep scrolling down. And then we get our individual counts logged for each individual cylinder. So. You can see it's a little bit different layout than you see in the OBD format. Um, that's typically what you'll find on most vehicles. So we're going to use one more tool. We're going to use the Phoenix Smart, and we're going to put that on one other vehicle just to show you how to find that information on the Pro Series tool. And uh, let's go ahead and switch over to that. All right, so now we're on the Phoenix Max. And we are going to show you the OBD data on General Motors. So we're going to go into the scan menu and we'll show you the OBD mode first. So we're going to select EOBD. OK. We'll give it just a moment to connect. And it's going to verify which protocol. Here's our VIN. This is a 2013 Chevy Cruze. We're going to hit enter. 
And we're going to go into mode six. Now we are using the Phoenix Max on this, but all of the top down Pro Series tools, the menus will look very much the same. We're going to scroll down. And this is a four cylinder vehicle. So we're going to see misfire menus for each of the four cylinders. We're going to tap on one. And here we can see our long term misfire counter and our short term or immediate misfire counter. And you're going to see that this is going to be basically the same on each of the cylinders. One, two, three, and four. So pretty straightforward and easy to navigate and access the OBD misfire menus. Let's go back out and we'll show you the OEM mode of data acquisition. So now we're going to hit auto scan. In there, it verifies the VIN. We're going to hit scan. And we're going to go into the engine control module. And we're going to hit automatic transmission. And this one does not have stop start. And now we're going to hit read data stream. And when we get into the GM menus, GM will oftentimes split up data into subgroups. So if you want to look at a specific subgroup, you will have a variety of choices. So they've actually got kind of a pre-selected breakdown of data pits for misfires. So we'll hit misfire data. And then we have a variety of different misfire counters that we can look at. Cylinder three and cylinder four. And of course you can select whichever data pits you find useful for uh, misfire analysis. So there's all of our counts and so we don't have any active misfires on this vehicle. We also have some additional options. Again, this is going to vary depending on each vehicle manufacturer. Some vehicle manufacturers are going to have different menus than this and different functions. There's also a misfire graphic sometimes available depending on the vehicle manufacturer. And you can see we can graph these if we want to. There are no misfires showing up, so we don't have any activity on the graph. We can graph them all simultaneously. But again, just wanted to show you what it's going to look like, uh, again, on another different vehicle and with a different top-down tool. But as you can see, we can access the misfire data both through the OBD mode of the tool as well as the manufacturer-specific software of the tool and acquire all of the data that we're looking for. So thank you for taking the time to watch our video on misfires uh, with each of the different tools for Top Don. I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch our misfire data acquisition video. In this video, we showed you how to find misfire data on OBD mode of your tool, as well as in the vehicle manufacturer specific software mode of your tool. We covered three different tools, Hopefully this was helpful to you. The menu navigation should be very similar depending on which top-down tool you use. You will typically have access to the same types of menus and data. As always, we'd appreciate it if you would like, subscribe, and share all of our videos. And again, I'm Hawken, and thanks again for watching.